Hey, welcome back, explorers. Behind me here, we're at an abandoned radio station. Incredible history here. So many famous people have played here and recorded here. I'm with uh, Gage. She's kind of our tour guide today. He knows all the information about this place, all the history. And I'm here with uh, abandoned Arkansas as well. So we're gonna explore this place. There's all kinds of stuff up behind here. Just full of stuff. It's on a main road too. And uh, I guess they don't have a problem with uh, people vandalizing, but there's, there's some stuff being stolen here over the years and stuff. We got Gage over here. We got abandoned Arkansas over here. We could see the old sign where this old sign was. I was told they took the sign down not too long ago and they donated it to a museum. So that's nice. But this place, this place is just full of stuff. Radio equipment, CDs, tapes, cassettes, you name it. Just full of stuff. So around the same time that KMBYKOKR was finished and up and running when they got their first license from the FCC and they started broadcasting. Elvis, Jerry Lee Lewis, John and June, um, that whole rockabilly group came came down Highway 67, which is this highway right here. Yeah. And there's a whole movie actually about um, Johnny Cash too. Um, it's called Walk the Line. I've seen it. And in that you hear they, they actually come through here. They don't show any of the concerts like the one he played here. There is um, there is a concert poster from then. He played on the rooftop and at that time, that crowd, which would be my great grandmother's crowd, she's 86 now, she would tell you all the stories, um, Conway, Twitty, all these people, they would stay up all night and drink and listen to these people play. Elvis Presley played on the rooftop and it was broadcasted out of this radio station here. But Elvis Presley, as wild as he was, he actually was banned from playing in Batesville, Arkansas. It was mainly because of how rowdy he was and how rowdy the crowd was. There were teenage girls going crazy. Bananas, yeah. So. So how big was the bar there that he used to play on? Like, like is that that the whole rectangle area, or does it go yeah. further back to the fence? The whole, the whole brown pavement. Yeah. All that brown rock pavement right there, or concrete, that was the property, oh, wow. and they both ran before each other. Um, it had an arcade, if I'm not mistaken, but at the same time, it, I was told that it burned down in the 70s. So nobody okay. that worked during the 80s or 90s here would be able to tell you that it was there because it was gone by then. Yeah, I was going to ask you when it when it uh, when but it came down. These two buildings were the found were parts of the foundation for this town. These two buildings right here, like I said, they they built this town up and got it from the gangster mentality and all the mobs into rock and roll and revitalization and this station ran from 47 to 2004. And they so, played a lot of gospel type music here? They played gospel, country, at one point they went to a oldies format. Oh, okay. A very brief time they played rock. The new station actually is right behind that store over there and it is not in any kind of better condition. A year ago, the AM transmitters in here were still running. Oh, wow. Yeah, and these were seven-foot-tall cool. machines that you touch in the wrong spot, you're going to be seeing God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. I would be totally the one touching it, too. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go left. I love this little bucket we can stand on. Perfect. I hear music. It's not coming from here, is it? <laughs> oh, wow, it smells like yes. 
excellent here. It smells like a good old abandoned building. <laughs> that line always gets a lot anyways. There's still posters in the wall. Looks like they're all autographed too. That is cool. Look at this, eh? Oh, it's my phone. I was wondering where the it sounds like it's it coming from here. I'm like, what's going on? As soon as we got in here, I hear like old music. That how crazy would that be? Huh? That's a little uh, eerie, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Would would have been if. It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely warm in here. Look at all this stuff. What do we got here? Hums. Some hoarding. This looks like an old tape dispenser thingy. The journey. It'd be cool to find some like. So, if y'all walk through this room, watch out for this little valley here. Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah. Put that in because it flooded all the time because this building is not raised up higher than the lawn around it. Oh, I see. So they actually had to have a bilge pump in here every night because it would always flood. Mm -hmm. We got some records here. In fact, sorry. If I can find it, I need a light. There's a photo in here. Yes. Oh, who's this guy? That's Austin Lane. Um, he used to wrestle at ASWF and Tuckerman. No way. Um, his real name's Brian. He's actually, he's actually the current broadcaster, not the broadcaster, but the DJ for KMBY right now. Oh no! Then you should send him that picture. And he, I have, or ask for ask, ask still, for an autograph for, on it. He still wrestles. Um, he wrestles in Memphis now. So. Well, who are these girls? This must be a, like a she Daisy. Never heard of them. A lot of these CDs are just random songs oh, and yeah. albums they would play. And they're everywhere. Yeah, they had a bunch of them. This ain't even a, like a fraction of what they had. Oh yeah, and they just people probably just take them over, over the time. Yeah. Plus these guys, this is all autographed. Yep. It's like Chuck Norris. Who are these guys? The Freemans? webs everywhere. Mistaken, Look at the lights. Office. That's pretty cool. So I'm not too sure. I guess red means on air. Wait, what'd you find? The lights here. Oh, 
I think the red light and the green light I'm thinking an orange light I think I'm pretty sure it would be green here I'll just wait until you see the bell the what the belt bell oh yeah those are all um, yeah River Country 96 7 that's actually what they're um, that's their format and their slogan now oh nice but these were all um, lights to tell you if you're on or off so would it be green you think or no green would mean green you're, and you're on okay um, I believe the yellow was you have a certain amount of time to prepare before you go on oh I see this this bell I've heard the one he's focusing on it switches from AM and FM and when it does, as soon as it goes, they went into FM, I believe, at 9.30 or 10.30 in the mornings. And that bell would be loud. And it would, Mr. Heath says that it scared the crap out of him a lot. Really? Um, and it would turn and it would just ring. No way, that's so And cool. because you're su in such an enclosed space, it's worse than a school bell. Yeah, that would be. Alarming. <laughs> so is this like the front desk kind of thing? Yes. Basically traffic was up here. Um, all the log keeping was up here. We've got some computer disks here. Yeah. A whole bunch of them here. Oh yeah, you can tell it gets really wet in here on the floor. Oh yeah, it's mainly because of that right there. Oh, yeah. It's the worst, probably believe the worst spot in the whole building. Yeah, this building was, as I've been told, even by the 90s it was outdated. Oh. It was way too many problems, too much flooding, building was falling in on itself. Oh, look at these, eh? But the big room that you were in just a minute ago, that was the broadcast room. All right. Seems small from the outside, but it's actually good space in here. That office back there, I believe. This one? Um, it's either this one or this back one um, was Mr. Dale Gardner's, and Mr. Dale Turner had the one on the other end. Um, they were both basically the general managers. Okay. This desk, eh? That's neat. Yeah, there's still some stuff in it. I haven't looked through it, all of this. That door is just a closet and it's empty. Okay. Nothing much in there. Cobwebs, there's like so much cobwebs in here. Oh, look at all the tape decks.
Oh, there's a whole bag of bumper stickers here. Yes, and if you look on the back of my truck, on my back window, I've got one. No way. That's awesome. They still... Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, they still stick. There's a thermostat. It says it's, <laughs> it says it's 85 in here. Oh. I think it's hotter than that, actually. Yeah, this was Mr. Dale's. Mr. Dale's office? Yeah. I believe, I believe it was Mr. Dale Gardner's. Because um, Mr. Dale Turner had the one at the end. We got a calendar, 2002. Yeah. Very warm. Right there. Oh, the pickles. I'll give you a dollar to eat one. Oh, wow. How old do you think this is? Uh, since 2004. Ooh. I love pickles, but... I don't think I'd put that in my sub. <laughs> oh man, they look—they don't—they don't look too bad, but I'm sure they are. I don't know the shelf life on those things. Would you eat one no. for twenty bucks? No. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people eat things for twenty bucks. I had a buddy who used to eat dew worms when we were fishing. He used to eat dew worms for twenty bucks. Yeah. People he always dared him, and he'd eat them. No problem. I think he ate a goldfish once. Oh. Just chewed it up. Oh. Twenty bucks. I couldn't eat anything raw. It has to be medium rare. I don't think this place has any more cobwebs because I think I walked through them all. I can see them hanging off my camera. Oh, they're all in my hair. Oh, we got an old. Pencil sharper. I need like a stick or something to swat these uh, webs away. What is this? I don't know what that is. this here oh look at that those tapes I found on the ground I think those are the ones that go in here here's another one carpet is like mush it's soaked in here wow it's like a giant petri dish in here This is a drop ceiling. Mm. We hear gunshots out there? I heard that as well. Or a cop gun. Oh, a cop gun? Cap gun? Oh, no, that's too loud to be a cap gun. Well, there is a story, um, I believe it was an F3 or an F5. Oh, yeah, we got some sh shooting going on out here. Mr. Dale Turner, who is still alive. Well, well hopefully they don't come in here and shoot at us. 
like him to get this footage too. Sorry <laughs> about it. By the way, this is the AM transmitter. All of this. this oh wow! Room. All of that deals with the AM transmitter and, and just all that tech. So this um, was left on for a while. Last He's... year it was buzzing. No way. And not too long ago I came in here and it was all gone. Oh yeah, it says right here. Yeah. Gates radio transmitter. Esters, and I know I am sweating. I should probably start that over again, shouldn't I? No. Like I was telling him, this room that's behind you um, is the storage room or the junk room. Yeah, look at it. Holy moly. It, it used to be better than that. That room is also the one that caught fire, if I'm not mistaken, in 49. I've got the newspaper clipping that cost this radio station $50,000 at the time. Yeah, that's a lot of money. There's all kinds of stuff in there. All the manuals. This was, you had the repair room here, and you had storage over here. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here. <coughs> Look at the records just marauding away there. Story of a ghost in here. Oh yeah, here we go. We're gonna turn this into a paranormal paranormal video. What's the what's the ghost? Who's the ghost? There's a man, I believe his name is Jack, it might be Jim. Terrified, scared. There's the other um, magnet, by the way. On top of that big white machine. Anyways. At night and in the mornings, you can see him. He'll stand on one side of the building. Really? That's all he'll do. But he does like to steal pins. What kind of pins? Reason. Like pins you like a pins you put on your like shirt? Riding pins. Oh, pens. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it's not coming. Is there any pens left in here? <laughs> he probably took them all. I don't. I didn't actually see any. But I haven't really explored. The storage room as much. Yeah, there's tons of paper in here. Yeah, all their Oops. paperwork. Amazing. The up until last year, um, Mr. Heats and what was Miss Leanne's mother both had their FCC licenses. Hanging on this wall. Oh, really? Can't tell you where they went, though. No one took them, eh? <laughs> Thank you.
I just overheard Gage talking to Abandoned Arkansas that this place is currently for sale for $600,000. So if any of you would like to buy this place, it's here. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I'd like to say thank you to Gage for giving us a tour around this place. He's got a lot of uh, knowledge about this place. So really appreciate him coming along. And I'm here with uh, Abandoned Arkansas. I'll put all their links in the description of the video. Hope you enjoy this one. See you next time.